All right, we are back. Quick little video I just noticed on my nice hash dashboard that CPU mining is back. Look at that, Big Daddies. Of my little rigs, my little 3900s that could, I am getting uh, now $8.14 estimated profitability at nice hash. I noticed uh, all day it's been kind of going up. Uh, around hovering around four, then going up to uh, uh, seven and eight. Now it's back down to seven. It does do that. It does fluctuate. It's just an approximation. But over you know a couple hours, you kind of get a warm fuzzy if things are trending north, and it, they are. They're trending north, which is uh which is neat. Uh, you never know with this CPU mining what makes it what makes it uh, profitable, what doesn't make it profitable. You know, based on the hash rate, um, you can probably dig deep, dig deep, and keep digging. And figure out how many people are mining, who's using what. I don't know. There's probably is a way to do it, but I don't have all that time in my day to do worry about that. I can just simply look at this dashboard and decide that hey, mining's going up. Woohoo, big daddy. Let it roll. So here we are. But first, I always forget this. I always forget the cursor of truth. Hold on a sec. Because then you have an idea where I am pointing to on the old screen. Blammo. There we go. Look at that. So here, here is where I was looking. If you did not see that, it was at eight bucks when I started this video. And for reference, we are February 17th in the year of our Lord 2024. Uh, yeah, year is zipping by, Big Daddies. We're almost through February. Uh, what, got another two weeks of that? And yeah, things are moving. So here we are. Crypto's hovering, like I said, between. Ah, let's see, five and eight bucks. I've been watching it for the past couple hours after I got back here today. And uh, the rigs have been running effort, 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 I can't even speak. Holy mackerel. Effort, effortlessly, effort, effortlessly. That is tough. I don't know. I went to public school and I was dropped a few times as a baby. So that could be it. All right. Anyway, yeah, the rigs have been running fine. <laughs> uh, God, for like, I don't know, probably the past week or so, ever. Ever since I went back from uh, solo mining on Zergpool, I was on an experiment there, and it was just not worth, uh, in summation, that was just not worth the, uh, uh, the juice was not worth the squeeze on that effort. So I think for uh, easy button, if you've done all that hardcore CPU, GPU mining, this for me is the next level of evolution, is make it simple, keep it low maintenance, Keep it low energy use, keep it low heat and low noise. That is my goal, Big Daddies. If you want to have a GPU farm and burning wattage and, you know, making noise and sucking in all your dust and you have to worry about how to exfil all that heat. Oh, yeah. Good for you. I mean, I'm done with that. I sold, I think I got maybe five GPUs left and uh, yeah, maybe five. Can't wait to get rid of the other ones. I might keep one because you may need one eventually. Uh, yeah, so I don't miss that and I don't miss the risk of burning my house down. And I'm not even joking about that. You got to watch that, guys. If you're wiring these things in, do not buy cheap power cables for your GPUs. Buy shielded ones. And uh, I forgot it was GPU risers, I think, makes good ones. I don't even know if they're still in business, but uh, they were the, they were the, uh, the uh, original gangsters back uh, 2021, 20, yeah, about that time, 2020. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I got all my stuff. You buy cheap stuff off Amazon, you got to watch that. Those uh, things may melt on you. Yeah, watch the Amazon crap. All right, where are we at now? So I've been mining for about a week now. I got about 6529 accumulated USD fiat equivalent of this Bitcoin. So 0 0.00127032. Woo. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, not too bad. I mean, I'll take it. So you're not really printing money. You're making crypto. And that crypto, once I get to my certain level, what I do is I move it to my hard wallet and it just sits there. My little cryptos keep growing. And that's the goal. I don't know. It's a gamble. It's speculation. Sure, that's all good and good and well. I'm fine with that. This is a small percentage of my my investments, and I'm just playing with it. Like it's like I don't gamble, but this is gambling. I don't go to the casinos. I go here, and this is my excitement. I get to come home at night, see what's going on. And go, oh my gosh, I just lost it all. Ooh, or I just made a you know a couple bucks, you know. But I really haven't because I haven't sold. I've been holding since 2017. So not the best strategy, if you ask me. <clears throat> Sorry, but not the best strategy because sometimes you want to take profits. You want to take those profits and that is not a dirty word 
profits and it's not a bad thing to take profits now and then. As you know, with crypto, it's always going to go down a little bit. There's always going to be that dip. It's like a little baby roller coaster, you know, or a big roller coaster. It's going to go up. Well, it may go up. It may go down. It may go sideways or it may do nothing at all. And I learned a lot from Bitcoin, Ben. Yeah, these guys. Boy, if you read articles too on crypto, look at all the words. Oh, it's going to go to the moon. Only if it meets this criteria. Or it could go to the floor. It could go to zero. Oh my God. So your article just covers every, every possibility. Great article. Thank you very much. Uh, what are we doing now? All right, enough of this crap. So profitability is up. It's hovering about, like I said, between five to eight bucks, which is neat. <clears throat> and we're at 65. I'm going to let that keep rolling, big daddies. Uh, let's see. What else is going? Rigs are running fine. I have not touched these in a long time. Ever since I updated the XM rig to the latest version, which I did manually, there's another video on that. Uh, because NiceHash will not update. They only update it to, I forget what version, an old version. And when you download the plugins on NiceHash Miner, you do not get the uh, latest and greatest XM rig. So you got to go manually get it off GitHub, tell your browser it's not a virus hack, and then download the thing and install it. If you need to know how to do that, let me know and I can make a, make a little how-to video, short video, short or something like that and uh, go forth and do great things on that. All right, where are we at now? Let's go look. All right, so there you go. Mining, I just want to make a video of mining stuff. Woohoo, turn your rigs on, have fun with it. GPU mining, I have not checked. I have another video coming out about that, how to determine if the hardware you have or want to buy uh, will be profitable on, and on which algorithm is simple, but it's good to know before you go spend money. You can look at, hey, is this really worth it? You know, and you'll know, well, should I turn these things on or should I buy this thing? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's easy ways to figure that out. All right, let's go look at, do, 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 where are we? Let's do a new button. Let's go to the old GDAX. <coughs> I keep coming back to the old GDAX deprecated trading view app. Uh, the Bitcoin on uh, Bitcoin. NiceHash has one, but it's based on USDT. So it's not as updating as this. This one is uh, right here, Bitcoin to USD. So you're going to get some of these real-time updates. Look at that. So on NiceHash, you do not get that. You kind of get more staggered stuff because you're trade, it, it's tracking Bitcoin to USD uh, Tether, I think. Yeah, so you're not getting these nice real-time updates. That's why I like GDEX. Or you can go to TradingView as well, but then you get spammed with lots of, uh, I think, ads and pop-ups and crap like that. It just gets annoying after a while. I get it. They want to make money, but eh, whatever. So this is the best I found. And uh, you get actually a window down here. If I expand this, you'll get a big uh, order window. I never could understand that. I always read it wrong. So don't, you know, educate yourself on this thing. If you want to get smarter about what's going on, you can see the uh, spread, the aggregation. You can see the order book, all the stuff in the order book, the market size, what they want to sell, the price they want to sell at right here. I'm not logged in, so that's why you're getting these stupid get started crap. Here's the USD spread, the amount they want to dump. I mean, the amount they want to purchase and at what price. Yeah, so that's that. And this is kind of cool. You see the volume down here. You see the volume. And it's funny, always on the weekends, I'm starting to know a pattern, whether it's some, um, I don't know if it's, it just seems like Saturday and Sunday, Bitcoin makes moves. And it just, it, I don't know. It just seems interesting, especially it's bad in a way. Because if you are in an ETF, those dumb things don't even trade, you know, until business hours, stock exchange hours. <clears throat> yeah, so if you have an ETF and say Bitcoin tanked, you're screwed because you can't even dump that thing until the market's open and you can put your sell order in. And yeah, it's not good. That's the only downsize of these uh, Bitcoin ETFs. If there is high volatility and you do sense doom and gloom, you're stuck. If it's a weekend, now it's a three-day weekend, of, for God's sake. You are boned. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you guys. So that is uh, another negative on the ETFs. Um, Good or bad, whatever. Maybe if you're long term, you don't really worry about that. But say this crashes down to 48, I'm like, oh man, I could have dumped it. At, I could have dumped it up here at 52 if it was a freaking normal business day, or I could uh, dump e the ETF whenever. But nope. And that is to me the other beauty of just buying Bitcoin direct. You could just buy it. It's a uh, 3 a.m. on a Saturday night somewhere, and you're boom. I just want to buy 100 Bitcoin. Woo! You can do it. You don't have to wait for these stupid exchanges and the, you know, the club that runs everything to open up 
Because again, it's it is a club, and we're not in it. We're just kind of the little peasants getting the crumbs here. So you got to be uh, be aware of that as well. Yeah. Anyway, so that's where we're at, and I see it kind of tanked down, almost uh, oh seven hundred bucks from fifty two thousand down to fifty one three. Yeah, it always happens on the weekends. Why is that? Is that the algorithms? I don't know what's happening. Somebody explain it to me. Post in the comments below. I need to know. I need my education on how this is doing this every weekend. <laughs> and it even happened. It's just like, look at this. It even happened. <clears throat> 217. Today it went up. Look at that. Every it is. Look at that. Look at the time, guys. Look at that time. Always around. I swear to God, go back through time on this uh, chart. You can use this. Go back in time and look. It seems like every Saturday around 1600 military time, Eastern time, that's 420 Eastern time. Stuff happens like this. I swear to God, I've been noticing every weekend and it goes up, boom, boom, boom. And then it starts, you know, I don't know what's driving that. If there's manipulation going on, you just don't know. It makes you believe it maybe isn't the uh, vanguards and black rocks because they're all you know out in their yachts spending your money, but uh, it may be just the Bitcoin whales. I have no idea. But now you see also later in the day up from fourteen hundred, fourteen thirty. I swear to God that is a pattern. You can do a pattern of life on these volume spikes and the price movement. And I bet you'll find every Saturday and Sunday you see crap like this going on. Now we kind of got a little sell-off happening. It's kind of, you know, little candles here. Oh, I hate that term, candles. Uh, but uh, yeah, then you can kind of see it dopping down here. It's just interesting, right? When you start observing this stuff over time, you're like, what exactly is going on? Anyway, if you know, let me know. Did something happen here today at 1430? I mean, at 1630? To, uh, in, you know, make this huge volume? Uh, let's see. Overseas, it would be midnight. Uh, four, six, so 16, uh, da, 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 let's say four, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think what time would it be, four, five, yeah, it'd be, uh, so if we do, it'd be 11, uh, 10 o'clock at night, nah, it's not Europe, would, would it be morning time in Asia, hmm, <coughs> yeah, not quite, but close to morning time Asia, so somewhere, I'm just trying to think who's awake that could be doing this crap, or it's automated, all right, that's all I got, we got a stupid little video, um, on Bitcoin and crypto mining, CPU mining seems to be back up. Just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, ooh, look at that, big daddies. Do you see what I see? You thought I was lying. I sensed that. You thought I was making crap up, like the old crypto channels that say it could go up. It's going to the moon. But anyway, CPU mining is looking nice again. And uh, yeah, I mean, geez, last time I looked at this, USD value was 30 bucks. And again, that is not the number you give a crap about. You care about this number right here, this Bitcoin number. That's what you want right now. If you believe in Bitcoin, you believe in the project, and you believe what's going on. I don't know. That's where I'm at. I believe in it. So I'm just accumulating and accumulating, and we'll see what happens. I don't need the money right now. Uh, you know, I can. It's like I said, a small percentage to play with, and uh, yeah, might as well do it here versus going to a casino where the house always wins. So yeah, what do you think? What are you guys doing? What's going on out there? I'm out of here, guys. Uh, yeah. Hey, do me a favor. I, let's get, uh, just hit the sub on this channel, the subscribe button, and like it if you, got, you thought this was interesting. Uh, that helps with uh, YouTube. Cost you nothing and uh, helps out this little channel. I am not monetized, but maybe one day. We'll see. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your Saturday evening.